What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the different alternatives that you have when it comes to writing a water damage estimate other than Xactimate. A lot of contractors want to know, do I have to use Xactimate? Are there other alternatives? The answer is yes. We're going to break them down in this video. Let's go. All right, guys, as we get started, go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button, please, and tell me where you're from. Drop a comment. Let me know where you guys are watching this video from, okay? So as we get started, here's what we're going to break down. Before we move away from Xactimate, I want to make this point clear. There are two different ways you can write your estimates, okay? We're going to look at the platforms in a minute, but there's also the style of estimate. So one style of estimate is like unit pricing. Unit pricing is when everything you write is you're charging by the square foot. You're charging by the linear foot. You're charging by the square, okay? That's unit pricing. That's where these platforms like Xactimate or whatever, they're putting the material and the labor all in the line item. That's called unit pricing, okay? The next way that you can do it is most commonly called time and material. And that's usually where they're going to put the material cost there and they're going to put like a labor cost there, all right? So time and material. Here's what I'm going to tell you. There's a third new way and that's something we're going to share with you at the end that I invented and it's called the muddy scope. This is the key to having a success successful estimate. I'm just telling you, and I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. But traditionally in restoration, the two big types are time and materials and unit pricing. Okay. And for me, after doing as many claims as I did, I found out that they had arguments for each and I didn't like that. So I developed my own philosophy. It's called a muddy scope and we'll show you that today. So let's first talk about the big three alternatives, if you will. Okay. Let me tell you why I move away from Xactimate. Xactimate is owned by the insurance company. Xactimate is owned by the insurance company. And it is a really big problem when their parent company is an insurance company. I just have a huge problem when the estimating software that I'm told to use is owned by the insurance company and it comes with set pricing. <laughs> Can't do it, okay? That's why I have a problem with Xactimate, all right? They claim to be fair, they claim to be equal, but they never called me and asked me how much I charge. If they wanted to, they could. That's because they don't care. It is the devil's tool, my friend, Xactimate is, all right? So let's talk about a demon's tool, because other than Xactimate, your first option is Simbility. Simbility is another estimating platform just like Xactimate, okay? It's the demon's tool because it is also for adjusters, okay? Simbility, they do exactly the same thing that Xactimate does. Their main customer, are insurance companies and adjusters, not contractors. I want to make this very clear to you. Xactimate and Simbility, their primary customer base, bro, are adjusters and insurance carriers. That's it. They don't give a rip about the contractor, but they tell everybody you got to use it, and that's the freaking Kool-Aid y'all been drinking, dude, and it ain't true, okay? So, but Simbility is an option if you want to go down that road. They're exactly like Xactimate. Essentially, there's a few different adjusters or carriers that will use Simbility. Um, shelter Insurance did for a while. There's a handful, but I would say Xactimate's got 80% of the market share, probably 70 or 80, and Simbility's got a small percentage other than that. They're owned by CoreLogic. And guess who CoreLogic just bought, guys? Dash of Restoration Software. So Xactimate already had Restoration Manager, and now CoreLogic bought Dash. And why are they doing this stuff? Why are they buying Restoration Company software? Guys, they're trying to get your data so they can further suppress pricing. I'm just telling you, okay? This AI stuff is coming. When you guys keep running your crap through that, just know this. You're screwing yourself, okay? The software companies that sell out to these estimating tools that are owned by the insurance company, that's giving them ability to see the pricing, and then it gives them the ability to set the pricing bro do you not understand they get a chance to set the pricing why are you doing this you've got to get off Xactimate don't get on Simbility but that's your option and you can write anything in Xactimate or Simbility in time and material or in unit pricing okay but it doesn't matter how you do it because you're gonna probably the way that brings me to my second option this one's gonna be time and materials okay I used to think there was a software for it, but time and materials essentially you upload your pricing into the spreadsheet you tabulate everything and that's it it's just it's a big burn sheet and where do you use time and material for me time and material we used it on really large projects like on anything over 20 grand anything under 20 grand i would just run a muddy scope but the on the really big ones i would do it just so i can calculate my cost okay because i can estimate how long we're gonna be doing these things and i can put in a factor for what my labor is it helps me arrive at my estimate and i'll show you how we do it here in a minute but time and materials typically reserved and used for large commercial projects okay all right so look at this this is the burn sheet so i will try and make this a little bit smaller so you can see the scope of it as it's whole here so you can see it's a big burn sheet that has everything on there okay and i'll blow it back up you can see how we get in there so this is maybe a better idea of you can see the size right like i do the the area 
uh, the items, the fans, the description. I put my costs in and I build my formulas from here. Okay. And then I will cut and copy and paste this stuff. And I'll show you how we do a cover sheet in a minute for the Muddy Scope. Um, but I'm going to wait till the end of the video. But I just want you to see this is an example of the burn sheet. Okay. And this is just Lola. Sorry, guys. My dog came to work with me today and she's interrupting me. So here she is. This is Lola. Say hey, Lola. My big fat English bulldog, and she's barking in the background. So I apologize about that. Lola, what do you think about adjusters and carriers, baby, huh? What do you think about them? <laughs> Get them. So anyway, sorry about the distraction, guys. That's my dog. Yeah, so I put the fans, the description, the cost, the price, okay? And I just tallied it on up. So if you guys want to know more about the time material, I'm just telling you essentially, this is how we put it all together, okay? And I will set it up like this, and then further on down, I will clean it all up. There's nothing really special about it. So time material is just gonna be stuff where you're tallying it all up, and then eventually, I'll put a cover letter on it, and I'll show you that cover letter in a minute, because it's basically the muddy scope. But the time materials, large commercial stuff. If you're doing large commercial projects, guys, know this. You need to make sure that you, number one, be getting a big deposit, okay? A 20% deposit deposit from the property owner, especially if it's commercial loss, talk to the GM, get a hold of the adjuster right away. You need to be getting a 20% deposit in the first handful of days to a week, or at least let them know about what it's going to be and get on a draw schedule with the adjuster. And if you don't know how to come up with a quick draw schedule, then you don't need to be doing that job because that job is way over your head. If you can't determine how big that job is going to be in, in 48 hours, you got a problem. You got a problem and you need to talk to somebody that can help you. Okay. Partner with another restoration company, let that thing go, but you're going to get burned if you're not careful, okay? All right, so that's that's the other one. Time and materials, okay? Make sure that you're on a draw schedule if you're doing those. So this brings us to our third option, and this is what we use is QuickBooks. Now, I'll tell you this. You can use like something like Joyce. A lot of guys will use Joyce. We used it in the early days of my handyman company, but there's no reason not to use QuickBooks because you're going to need it for an accounting software and it will work just as well okay so we used quickbooks we just put all the pricing in there you can go to workwithshane.com you can learn more if you become our client we basically build all this back end pricing for you so you don't need exactimate it's all set for you or i'll help you set your own pricing so give the finger to exactimate and stability don't pay twenty five hundred dollars a year and once you come in our ecosystem and you've got it it's yours bro you own it not me all right so anyway QuickBooks Online, I would use that instead of Joyce, and that's simply because if you put it in Joyce, you still gotta invoice it, right? So why not write your estimates in the same invoicing software and platform? There was no reason not to, is essentially it. There's no reason not to. Some platforms like Joyce are fine, and they may be more simple in the beginning, but once you have what we've got, there's no reason not to do it all right there, okay? So about QuickBooks, why do I like QuickBooks? Because it's a muddy scope, I can build templates, I can put my own pricing in there, I can control my pricing, and I don't have Xactimate, and I don't have some breathing down my throat trying to tell me what to do I can give them boys the finger you know what I'm saying so um, y'all want to look at a muddy scope let's go look at a muddy scope so this is an example of a QuickBooks estimate all right and number one this is why they're gonna say it's not itemized and bro you can't tell me this ain't itemized bro this is itemized that's all there is to it that is straight itemized it's a full page of clean neatness okay but here's my point it's not written like a conventional exactimate or stability estimate in that they don't have a way to argue it so we build all of these items initial response stabilization so these are basically our categories category description we build a price and if you notice this doesn't like anything y'all have ever done before for the most part why because it's a muddy scope bro it's a muddy scope and it works okay and it just reads like a story and it makes sense this is our seven thousand dollar template or whatever we charge for initial response we charge for equipment setup and delivery notice i don't charge by the hour i'm not going to get in there and him haunt about the argument about the hours their stabilization we charge for service call 178 they don't like to pay for emergency service call during business hours they don't like to pay for em EMS, emergency service called during business hours. You know what I did? I don't call it that. It's called this, pay it. Pay me, homie. So I put a PPE bundle, like these are examples of a muddy scope. They don't know how to argue this. They don't have this pricing. Do you understand? Can y'all understand? Drop a comment and let me know. Again, if you want this stuff, go to workwithshane.com, okay? And I can talk to you about our 30-day program. If you want me to teach you this, we have a two-day event coming up in Nashville, okay? It's gonna be a small event, a private event, waterdamagebootcamp.com. Go to waterdamagebootcamp.com. You can get your tickets to that and uh, we will teach you this. You do have to sign a non-disclosure agreement and you can't be an adjuster. You have to have a 
restoration company. We will check. If you buy the ticket at waterdamagebootcamp.com, we're going to call you. And if you don't have that, we'll refund your money and you can't come. Okay. But anyway, this is a good example of a money scope. Okay. Where it states what we're doing, service call, like we're putting the prep and containment. So they just don't have a, this is, we're doing some work here with paper and plastic, but it, we're charging 288. You understand? And then set up and delivery, 640 bucks instead of hourly. Okay. And then we've got some equipment charges, which is cool, but they don't know what a PPE bundle is. That's my pricing. That's what I do, baby. And so anyway, I'm not going to show you any more of that because that's enough. You want more of that? That's fine. I got adjusters that have been watching me. So y'all want to go talk about that burn sheet again? This was the burn sheet that you guys saw a minute ago. Here's how it sets when we look at it on a money scope. So we basically build a document that says we put it on the cover page and it'll say this document outlines what we did upon the inspection. We found this was going on and it's just like a, a one page write up of what it is. We would typically put a link to like some photos from company cam. Um, company cam is the photo application that we used. If you'll notice this summary, the scope of charges right here, this $18,000 all of this is this area right here, okay? So we basically cut and copy this and plug it into this document here, okay? And every one of these pack out content items, etc., we unpack each one of these line items down here. And again, if you want me to teach you how to do this, come to the boot camp. That's how we'll show you how to do it, okay? But like, this is a good example of Muddy Scope. See where it says it doesn't list the cost of the fan per day. It's how many units times four days, okay? You got to make them do a calculations, okay? Adjusters are lazy, bro. They ain't, gonna, they, ain't gonna, they ain't taking that calculator out, bro. They want to go home. They're tired. Make them do the math. This is itemized, but this is muddy, okay? They don't have a way to quickly refute it. All right, but it is detailed and it's very itemized and it's very clean. So this is time and material written as a muddy scope. The secret, my friend, is a muddy scope. You understand? The secret is the muddy scope. You don't see labor hours all in here, do you? And this job right here, this job was paid in full. Paid in full by Big Red. Paid in full, okay? Is this helpful? Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. But like, you can go back and you can stop and you can scroll, do whatever you want. But this is an example of a muddy scope, guys. The secret to getting paid is to know what you're doing and be ahead of the game. Billing insurance, doing this work, it is a game, okay? They, yes, they will pay your QuickBooks, they will pay this. I'm telling you, I've done over a thousand claims and this is what we moved to in the end. We probably the first 500, I probably didn't exact mate, okay? And I finally got tired of getting my freaking nose shut in the door, you know what I'm saying? So I started doing something different, okay? So hopefully that's helpful in this video. The trick is the muddy scope, okay? It's not time and material, it's not exact mate, it's not the unit price, and you need to write it in such a way so that you are making the profit that you need to make. If you guys aren't, go to workmachine.com and we can get on a call and put you through our 30-day program. If you want to come learn from me, in person, go to waterdamagebootcamp.com. You can fly to Nashville this fall, and we'll go do that two-day event, okay? So hopefully this is helpful. I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed that video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you haven't yet, click on my face below and be sure to subscribe to the channel, okay? We put out new content each and every week. Also, if you want me to help you grow your company, go to workwithshane.com. Workwithshane.com, put in your information, we can get on a call and see how we can help you grow your company. Lastly, there'll be some other videos right here. If you wanna watch more content about growing your restoration company, check out one of these videos. We'll see you guys on the next one.